one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out on a big green meadow. On the branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Soon, a duck came waddling around. She was glad Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. Seeing the duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to the duck, and shrugged her shoulders. What kind of a bird are you if you can't fly? said she. To this, the duck replied, Well, what kind of a bird are you if you can't swim? and dived into the pond. They argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond and the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. The 
cat thought, The bird is busy arguing. I'll just grab her. Stealthily, she crept toward her on velvet paws. He was angry because Peter had gone to the meadow. It is a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? attention to grandfather's words. Boys as he are not afraid of wolves. Grandfather took Peter by the hand and led him home and locked the gate. sooner had Peter gone than a big gray wolf came out of the forest. In a twinkling, the cat climbed up the tree. <laughs> 
The duck quacked and in her excitement jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, nearer, catching up with her. And then he's got her. And with one gulp, swallowed her. And now, this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. The bird on another. Though not too close to the cat. walked around and around the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate watching all that was going on. He ran home, took a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, Fly down and circle around the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. touched the wolf's head with her wings, while the wolf snapped angrily at her from this side and that.
how the bird did worry the wolf, how he wanted to catch her. But the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso, and carefully letting it down... caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope around his tail tighter. Just then, the hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. sitting in the tree, said, Don't shoot! Birdie and I have already caught the wolf. Now help us take him to the zoo. triumphant procession. Peter at the head.
after him, the hunters, leading the wolf. Winding up the procession, Grandfather and the cat. Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? chirping merrily. My, what fine fellows we are! Peter and I have caught a wolf! One would listen very, very carefully. He could hear the duck quacking in the wolf's belly, because the wolf, in his hurry, had swallowed her alive. <laughs> 